Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you want to reach out to me, if you want to schedule a free 10 to 15 minute call where we can jump on Zoom, see where you're at with your business, see different ways that our company can help you, then visit again the description below and you can either book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me where we jump on Zoom, I can ask you some questions, where you're at with your sports training business, or you can send me some questions to either my email or you can text me as well. Okay, so don't stay stuck with your sports training business. Make sure you reach out to me because there's a number of ways that you can get our company help. So today I want to talk about good versus professional. Right, so I've been in this industry for over 10 years now. I've seen many good trainers and I've seen many professional slash great trainers. So I wanted to come on here and make this short video to kind of differentiate your the, the good and the professional. Now, in order to be a successful business owner, you need to be, in my opinion, a professional trainer. It's no good being good because at the end of the day, your customers, your clients are investing into your high quality training. And they're investing into the image that you are portraying to the public. Okay, so if you are just an, an average or a good trainer, then that's okay short term, but long term, okay, and especially in this type of industry where there's a lot of competition, right, you will get found out eventually. Okay. Now, what does it mean to be a professional sports trainer? So when I think a professional, I think I think of three things. Okay? Number one, is being very organized. So being very organized is making sure that everything is ready and good to go before you get to that field, to that core, to where you're training your clients. So we have to make sure that all our customers and our clients know what day and time all your training sessions are going to be. Whether you're doing one-on-one -on -one training or whether you're doing group training, okay, an organized trainer is a person that has this already done before they get to the field or the core. So you're not waking up that morning texting your clients, I'm Mrs. Jones, we're going to be training at this location, okay? Now, this is something we teach trainers when they join our program is how to set up their business in a way where they already have set they set time every single week for their business. Okay, If you want your business to succeed in the long term, then you need to make sure that you have a set day set time for, you, for your training sessions. So a good trainer will find the location to train, but a professional trainer has that already scheduled and good to go. So that's the first one. Second one, communication, right? A professional trainer, a professional sports trainer is a person who consistently communicates with customers. So they're constantly, the moment that person becomes a client or a customer, that trainer is com constantly and commit committing to communicating with that, that those customers on a regular basis. Now, what do I mean by communication, right? Because communication can come in different forms. But what I mean is they are constantly keeping customers up to date with offers, uh, updates. They're also every once a month or every so often, they're reaching out and providing pro progress reports on 
that customer's child and how that player is doing within their program. Okay. And then another example is that they are always making sure that they are providing a fantastic service. Okay. And they're making sure that customers or their clients, okay, feel valued. So what I mean by this is a, a professional sports trainer is someone that is consistently seeking out for feedback, right? So it's consistently feedback, asking for feedback on the business, right? And that comes down to communication. So it could be sending the customers an email once a month. It could be getting on a phone call and calling Mrs. Jones or all the, all the other parents in the program and asking them how or what they like or what can be improved in the program. And the more feedback you get, the more changes and adaptations you can make into your business. So it's really important that you are consistently communicating with customers because they are essentially the ones that are paying for your service. And if they aren't having a good experience with you, then ultimately there's enough trainers out there today that they can go and, and find that better experience with. Okay. Also, the more feedback you have, the more valuable your program will become because you can gather information and make adjustments to your business based on the feedback that you are getting off the parent. Right now, the third one, what differentiates a good versus a professional is a system. Okay, the professional sports trainer has a system in place where any new customer or client that comes in goes into that system, right? And this system could be, it, it, it could be a business type of system, but it could also be a coaching system as well. So off the field, they have everything in place. They've got a contract in place where customers sign, They've got a method of receiving payments every month or every quarter or every year, however, you, however that, that trainer is billing. And they have everything in place set up properly, right? The business set up legally, that they have a business bank account, they have business insurance, they've got a consistent location that they are using all year round to do their training sessions so parents know where to go for their sessions. Right, that's off the field or, or off the court. On the court or on the field, right, professional sports trainers are organized so they have a set day, set time that they do their training sessions. They have a curriculum already in place that they are going to be working with that client on. Now, even if they don't have a curriculum, they will make sure that all their sessions are planned before they arrive to the session so that they're not just winging it like a good trainer would do, but they are prepared. They, they have an objective to that training session. Okay, they aren't just showing up thinking about it on the spot, okay, I'm gonna do this with this client because I did this yesterday with another client, right? They adapt, they make changes, and they customize each session to the needs of the players and clients that they are working with, okay? So if you fall under any of these brackets, if you feel that at the moment you're a good trainer but you wanna to get to, a, to the professional level with your business, or if you if you are a sports trainer that is looking to start a business, right? Reach out to us again. Visit the description below. There's a number of ways you can reach out to us to get some business help, advice, or even 
work with us to grow and scale your business to the next level. Okay, so thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all our latest content.